Hello, I'm Svetlin Nako from Softuni, the software university. And I'm here again for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In the previous episode, we reviewed what React.js is and how it can be used to build front-end apps which run inside the web browser. Today, I'll focus on the modern mobile app development technologies like React Native. And we'll talk about how to build an app which runs on your mobile phone. I'll review the technologies, platforms, tools, and programming languages for building Android and iOS mobile apps. I'll explain the main approaches to building mobile apps, like native Android apps, which are written in Java or Kotlin and based on the Android SDK, native iOS apps, which are written in Swift or Objective-C and are based on the iOS SDK. Hybrid mobile apps written in JavaScript based on the web UI frameworks and technologies like HTML and CSS and some frameworks for hybrid apps like Cordova. Also, native JavaScript mobile apps, which are slightly different than the hybrid mobile apps because they are also written in JavaScript, but they are based on the native device UI controls and frameworks like React Native and some other uh, mobile app development technologies, which I will mention, uh, will be like Xamarin, Flutterers, and others. Finally, I'll show you a small, a small live code example of React Native mobile app, which is a very simple app to zoom to numbers, and it will run natively on Android and iOS. With this demo, I will explain and demonstrate how to create an app once and deploy it on Android and iOS from a single code base. So you write once and run on several mobile platforms from the same code. Okay, are you ready? Let's start. Mobile apps are an important branch of front-end and client-side app development. Building mobile apps combines mobile development principles, concepts, platforms, technologies, frameworks, libraries, and tools. Two major mobile app platforms dominate the smartphone and mobile device markets, Android and iOS. Android is more popular uh, and devices are less expensive compared to iOS devices. Developers have more freedom and options and most apps are free or follow a freemium model. iOS is slightly less popular, but still very big. Devices are more expensive, but the market is more profitable because most apps follow a paid model. Mobile app development technologies are divided into several categories. Uh, Android native mobile apps. Native Android apps are created specifically for the Android platform, which is maintained by Google. They are based on Java or Kotlin as programming languages. Android SDK as development toolset, Android Studio as development environment, plus some specialized tools like Android emulators, uh, simulators, remote debugging tools, and others. Advantages of the Android apps, uh, native apps, are that they are native and use directly the Android platform, its APIs, its programming model, its UI controls, and the apps behave more natively and are fast. Disadvantages are that you need to learn the Android platform and you cannot adapt the native Android app for iOS. iOS native mobile apps. Native iOS apps are created specifically for the Apple iOS platform. Uh, they are based on Swift or the other, other Objective-C as programming languages, iOS SDK as development toolset, Xcode as development environment, and some specialized tools like device simulators, remote debugging tools, and others. As a rule, to develop iOS app, you need a Mac machine. You cannot develop iOS apps from Windows or Linux or Linux, or at least officially. Advantages of the native iOS apps 
are that they are native and use directly the iOS platform. It's APIs, it's programming model, it's UI controls, and the apps behave more natively and are fast. Disadvantages are that you need to learn the iOS platform, you need to have a Mac computer, and you cannot adapt the native iOS apps for Android. Hybrid mobile apps are based on the modern web technologies running in the mobile's device web browser. Hybrid mobile apps are based on JavaScript and the HTML5 platform. They use a WebView container, uh, which is an embedded web browser through the Apache Cordova or similar project. The app code based is written in JavaScript. The UI is based on combination of HTML plus CSS, plus some adaptations of the native Android and iOS controls. Hybrid mobile apps can use the mobile device hardware through specific APIs. Advantages of the mobile hybrid apps uh, development approach are shared code based uh, for all platforms. The same code runs with small adaptations on both iOS and Android. Existing web front end development skills are reused. Disadvantages are that hybrid apps behave less natively from the user experience perspective and are slower than native apps. Native JS mobile apps use JavaScript as programming language instead of Swift or Java, but the user interface is bound to the native UI toolkit for the target mobile platform. Example of native JS mobile app platforms are React Native, and native script. Advantages of the native JS mobile apps uh, are the shared code base. Most of the code is shared between the iOS and Android app, except some specific UI related code. And the apps behave natively. They just as native Android or iOS app. These advantages are that existing HTML5 and web front-end development skills cannot be directly used. Other platforms try to combine the best from the native and hybrid, hybrid mobile apps. Xamarin uh, is a C-sharp based mobile development platform, which targets Android and iOS, but have similar disadvantages like hybrid mobile apps bad performance and non-native user experience. Flutter is trying to offer a universal development platform for iOS plus Android plus web plus desktop based on the Dart programming language, which is fast, natively compiled and uses a shared code base for all platforms. As illustration of the mobile development platform and concepts, I have prepared a small live code example of React Native mobile app. Let's look at the example from the previous link, uh, from the link on the screen. The app I have created is simple summator of numbers. It sums the values from two text fields into a third field when you click a button. As you can see from the code on the screen, React Native apps are written in JavaScript. Uh, following the React programming model with JSX uh, components, but using universal cross-platform UI uh, controls, which are bound, bound to the native iOS and Android UI toolkits for better performance.
we enter 3 and 6 and the result is calculated as 9. I will skip explaining the code, it's not important now. The important concept here is that developers can build mobile apps in JavaScript using their React skills with some adaptation for the mobile platforms. And once they learn front-end development concepts and technologies like Angular and React, they can use these skills for different platforms, web, desktops, and mobile. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts, and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now, softuni.org.